Okay, I said I'd do a quick compare with the i330 today. I've hit it a couple times um, in the last week or so. James' article has all the good details on um, the changes to them. Uh, nice smooth look in the four-piece uh, system on the back. You get the elastomer, removing a bunch of weight and everything. Just read it. I posted a few uh, comparison pics the other day uh, with the i59 and the i525. It's definitely closer to the i525 in size, you know, blade length and the sole. Um, but uh, as you can tell from all the changes they made the last one, the screws in much different positions, much lower on the on the head, and um, look a lot different from the toe. And over the ball, honestly, like between the 525 and the 230, looking over them, I can't tell much of a difference. You can see a little shift to the i59 in my opinion, but um, the Micromax screws makes them all look pretty playerish. And um, I couldn't figure out what I wanted to hit against it today, so I ended up going with the Mizuno 223. You know, they're both cavity backs. The 223 is a, a degree stronger. And then I went ahead and hit the i59 um, just to kind of see the differences there and hear, maybe hear the sound a little bit. So I'll start with the uh, 230. Okay, uh, Reddy and I have been talking earlier about not wanting to bomb our irons, so um, I'm trying to lay off to like keep it like a reasonable speed. Um, not my strength, and I kind of cover them up a lot when I do it. Um, so if you can see my thumbs up at the end, I was happy because um, I hit a couple stock draws, and I moved one to the right line a little bit, and I drew one a little bit left, and I kind of smothered it, and I had the launch drop down, and I knew to balance it out and kind of take the me out of the equation um, for the end results, I had to hit like a high fade, and uh, that's not my strength, but... Uh, Got it. So everything worked out, you know, average on the line in the end. Spin numbers were really good. Uh, that's been really consistent. Uh, you saw the numbers from the other day. Uh, it's been really, really tight. I love that with the I-59s too, the, the, the bunch of grooves and everything. It just seems to just keep it real tight. Uh, they feel pretty good, pretty classic ping. Uh, that, you know, elastomer doing its thing. Uh, never been my favorite, but um, I, I liked it. I like it better than the 59s. That was a big thing. My, I didn't love the feel of the 59s once I got out on the course and everything. Um, so like I said, I hit the 223 to compare. They're a degree stronger, but I tried to keep that swing speed as consistent as I could. Like I said, it's not really my strength to lay off and like hit that specific lower speed. So maybe you can hear a difference in them. All right, so that time, I think it was like my second one, I just lost right. So I had to hit I had that last one. I really had to cook it left a little bit to get, like I said, take the me out of it, get everything to end up with a good average, which it did. Uh, you know, launch is right the same, um, same, you know, start line, everything. One degree stronger, a little bit lower spin, a little bit more speed. But the, um, the I-230s have seemed, seemed pretty quick for, for what they are. The, like I said the other day. I could punch it up to like 138 ball speed pretty easily without swinging very hard. Uh, they seem quick, partly because of, I think, the forgiveness and the consistency within that. Um, so I don't know if you guys hear any difference in them. I think most people would think they feel overall kind of similar, but Ping's got that unique thing to it. I probably prefer the 223s just a little bit. Um, but then, I think I said, I hit the I-59s next um, just to get it to compare on a little different loft and another Ping club. And uh, let me check that out. Okay, that should do it. <laughs> uh, really hard to not swing faster or when you're looking down at an iron and I know it's not going to go as far. Just in my head, I have a number I want to hit. It's really hard to maintain that. So I think this one's just a little bit faster on it um, than I wanted to, that I just compare. But everything, start lines are the exact same. Uh, that got up in the air a lot easier. Uh, and I did have to work one right again to kind of balance everything out. But uh, So that's why the circle's a little wider. But uh, you can see the difference in the carry, the speed, the spin, um, and those 230s, you know, for their loft. It, like, it's been over six on just about everything, or like right at six, uh, which for me is not easy to do. Uh, it's been really impressive. And obviously the tightest of the bunch, the deviations are real small. 
part of that's me trying to catch up and like match shot for shot. Like, you know, if I push one right on the first set, I try to do that on the next. So there's like a comparable strike to strike uh, to look at later. But this gives you the broad strokes. And um, like I said, they've been, they've just been really, really good so far for me. That'll probably be my last time hitting them for a while. Um, hopefully you could hear a little difference in the 59. The 59s feel a lot more solid, um, but there's a noticeable drop off in forgiveness compared to the other two. And honestly, at the bunch, I hit one look kind of low groove with the 230 and one with the 223. I think, or the, yeah, 230 and the 223. I think the 230 was, uh, honestly felt the most forgiving of them. I think it's a, just a little bit bigger, but um, it didn't really drop off at all. And you can see in the, in the, the launch spin and everything, it's just consistent as heck. Uh, Comes at 33, I would retrospect mine. I play my seven irons at 35 anyway. Uh, and I think they'd look great with that offset, just the tiny bit that there is bent off. Um, it has a rounder front edge, so I'm kind of curious how that would be, like with the bounce and everything. Um, but you can obviously power loft them. There's gonna be tons of, I mean, there's already is tons of reviews out there, I'm sure. Uh, but I, I honestly don't think anybody who really loved the 210s is gonna be disappointed. It seems like a really nice new upgrade. So hopefully everybody goes and hits them, and pays attention to the forum feedback and uh, Loves them or doesn't.